uh, Resolution Buckhorn Boulevard, that's Karen Strong. Good morning. Good morning. Beautiful day. At the um, workshop, you guys had tasked me with putting together documentation for advanced funding, funding agreement with DOT for Buckhorn. So you have in front of you the letter to Secretary Gaynor as well as the resolution. And what we need today is for you to authorize the execution of this resolution and we'll get the letter in the mail. I'll make a motion that we authorize this execution and for, for the uh, money here on the board. I have a motion. Second. I have a second by Commissioner Kent. Any discussion? All in favor, aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion it's going to be a great project. I'm yes, really looking forward to that. Speaking of Buckman Boulevard, we we talked about it two or three times uh, about milling. We're, you know, we're going to look like we're going to put some funding out out of, out of pocket to pay the pay the Cliff's work on some. That, that's edges. actually Orange Hill, but it's going to be well. Yeah, Orange Hill, I apologize, but it's in that area. Yes, Johnny. What's the board opinion on just going ahead and milling that under? We're going to mill it under anyway. It's turned back to dirt just so that we can keep them from riding the ditches, get it, get it put back together. Because yeah. we're going to mill it when we're going to pave it anyhow. Is it Cliff working on the... Uh, yes, sir, he's working on the... We'll get that. I got some drainage issues and all, too. We got to on that. He's working on that. Well, that was just on my mind. I had to get off there for I moved on from I never remember. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Ms. Karen. So, yeah, Ms. Cross, we'll turn it off side so we can get the road. We need to move it. We hurry. We got it done. We're going to sit. Peter Rutherford. What did you guys want to share? You won't be saying that. For the opportunity to be here um, I've got uh, just a few items to go over most of my stuff today is related to your scrap scop and your county incentive grant program at your workshop a week ago you guys asked me to check into uh, doing the county incentive incentive grant program um, application to DOT on uh, either Hutchinson Road or Sunday Road um, I've evaluated both projects um, Hutchinson Road is about 1.6 miles. Uh, the existing roadway varies between 20 and 24 feet wide uh, gravel. And I put together a cost estimate for what I thought it would take to uh, <coughs> to build a road 20 feet wide to Green Book standards and 22 feet wide to Green Book standards. And uh, to build it to uh, 20 feet wide would be $825,500. To build it 22 feet wide would be $922,500. Um, I think it's a, a project that will meet the eligibility requirements of the uh, County Incentive Grant <laughs> Program and that uh, you can certainly demonstrate you were taking traffic either off of 90 or off of uh, off of 90 to you know, the county as a cut through pretty easily. Um, kind of the uh, give you a few pictures as well. The downside is there's a lot of clearing that's, that's going to have to happen to build the road. Um, there's a lot of old fence lines that have giant trees in them that would more than likely have to come out to meet um, the shoulder requirements. And so um, right of way acquisition may or may not be an issue because of the amount of clearing that's going to have to be done on the project. And so. Um, you know, there's some trees that we can work around. There's actually a few very large oak trees that I'm certain we can work around. There's some old cedar trees that I'm certain we can work around. But there's also some windrows of trees that are very large that are so close to the edge of the road right now, we would either have to get all the right of way on the side where the houses are, or that windrow of trees would have to come out. And so um, clearing is one of the larger costs on the project. I've allocated about 60,000 for clearing on the job in my cost estimate. But I uh, feel like it would be a good one that DOT would consider 
um, favorably. Again, it's a 50-50 match. They would waive um, your 50% because you're a county of rural economic critical concern. Um, but whether or not they would actually fund the 50% that they're waiving would probably depend on what their budget looked like at the time. Um, so any questions about that one? So you got $60,000 worth of um, cleared. That's something the county can do themselves. So that would be a greater part of our match. You know? Probably so. <laughs> yep. And then uh, there's also some power poles that need to be relocated. Um, we have in the past uh, done the clearing and then the, um, the uh, power company has moved the poles at no cost to the county. I'm assuming that's what would be the case on this, but uh, it's hard to tell sometimes when they're going to try to charge you or not charge you, and I haven't met with anybody on it. So, assuming that there's no cost for moving the power poles, um, uh, my estimates would be accurate. So, the uh, other project that I um, reviewed was the Sunday Road. It's uh, 1.7 miles. Uh, the existing roadway is between 17 and 18 feet. I measured a couple places in, at, at 17 and a couple places at 18. It's between there. Um, uh, 1.7 miles. The, uh, the majority of the road is in pretty good shape. Uh, it hasn't been resurfaced in many, many years. Um, there's a stretch of about six or 700 feet that's going to need uh, base replacement prior to resurfacing. Um, the picture on the front page shows that stretch. Um, if we were going to do something to the road, I would recommend that we widen it to 20 feet also. I think uh, some of the um, beating that the road's taken right now is the result of traffic either pulling off the road to pass another vehicle or large trucks uh, beating out the edge of pavement because the pavement's not wide enough. And so I give you a, a cost estimate for resurfacing. Um, and putting uh, thermoplastic striping down was uh, $258,060. To uh, widen the road to 20 feet and resurface it, $343,884. And then to widen it, uh, resurface it, and fix the drainage on the project, $425,500. There's about uh, 15 um, side drains. Uh, which is cult, you know, driveway culverts that need to either be replaced uh, or relocated um, and also could use some mitered insections. Uh, there's two cross drains on the road that need to be extended. Um, so the drainage work uh, adds roughly another 75000 to the project. Um, the road dead ends at a cemetery. There's no turnaround at the cemetery right now. If we were going to resurface and fix the road up, it would probably be a good idea to fix a turnaround down there for heavy trucks, um, as there is no place to turn around down there now. That dirt road that turns off to the right there, that comes back out to uh, Bush Road. Bush Road comes up to Clayton Road. Clayton, Road. yes, thank you. Yeah. Clayton. There's a lot of houses on that dirt road. So uh, I think that this is a you know a project that certainly is in a condition that would rank high um, as far as scoring the condition of the road. The issue with this project is whether or not the uh, DOT is good with this taking traffic off a of state highway or not, which is their kind of their number one criteria for projects of this sort. Um, <coughs> I can certainly try to meet with DOT to uh, discuss with them what their thoughts were, but that's going to be, I think, the challenge on this one. It does meet every other criteria, but uh, demonstrating that it takes traffic off the state highway is their number one kind of issue. Because this road already already, ha already has asphalt, it would be a better scrap, a scrap project. It would be a good scrap project, yes. Uh, that the no state highway near. Yeah, the CP. The, the Hutchins Road for Seek because you're taking traffic from a state highway to another state highway, 277 State Highway, and 90 is a highway. 90, so I right. could find a better road that fits that bill of goods when you're taking off of the intersection of two state highways. Right. Yep. Now, I didn't hear what you said, Commissioner Joyner. Oh, I said the Sunday Road doesn't have a, a, a state, road. state road near here. Yeah. It's, it's just the Orange Hill, the. Yeah. Right. 
if you would. Yeah, I think it would be a I think it would be a tough argument. Um, where, I really where, can't say they wouldn't find it, but uh, we'd have to make an argument that it did that somehow. What kind of cost estimate is it to come in and, and fix the 600 foot that's in the field repair? To yeah. fix the 600 foot? Yeah. Uh, you know, saw cut it, tear it out, bring in some <laughs> lime rock base, and uh, you know. And we could do we could saw cut it, and we could take it all out now. Uh, by putting the base back in with our mixture and then just pay somebody to pay it. You could. you probably be a lot. Uh, well, if you're, if you're going to do it with your mixture, you probably wouldn't even need to saw cut it. You could probably just mix it get, up. go in there and mix that section, you know, get, it, get density back on that section. And that's assuming that the base is, is uh, I'm, I'm assuming that it's sand clay base on the road. Yeah. Uh, but uh, that would be money ahead doing that and, and apply for the CP for the other. That's just my, my opinion, five or six people hutching and, and look at doing a cost estimate and just getting that repaid. Uh, Mr. Chairman, do we need a motion for that? Yeah, we might have a motion for CP. And also the, uh, the that intersection where it comes off of Orange Hill Highway where it yeah, it's beat out pretty yeah, good. It's, it's horrible. Right at the intersection. <coughs> the, radius, the radius really isn't big enough either direction. Uh, so you can tell that the trucks are beating out the, the radius pretty bad. And when, they're, know. when they're coming down that Orange Hill Highway with a loaded truck, truck come over the hill coming back down and then these people are are they have to come I mean of course it's a stop sign there but even their takeoff is slow because that crap is it's already really, and it, it's uh it, Charles you've got to call I mean we talked about it one time about yeah the, yeah I mean them, them trucks coming down that section right there and they can't stop the low and they can't said stop they can't, but they're and all the pits are down there yeah yeah all the commercial land I, I hate to, I'd hate to waste the fund opportunity to do a complete road when that's something we could do a house you know that's just my opinion I'd like to make a motion okay. Okay. put Hutchison on uh, the CP I have a motion to put Hutchison on CP I have a second can't make a motion Bush made a second any discussion? All in favor, aye. Uh, All opposed? Motion carries. Now, can we address can we address this on that road area? Yeah, so the you know the other two programs that we've got to have one road for uh, is scrap and scout. And so, you know, we had discussed at one time trying to do something with the brickyard road uh, that's not in great shape right now. I think the Brickyard Road would be a good scrap project. Um, you know, the uh, the roads that you have that um, are not paved right now would, would probably be better scout projects. And really, um, you've got uh, really you've got three great scout candidates right now. You got the Greenhead Road that we've talked about um, quite a few times. You got the Holmes Valley Road extension that would be a good scout project. And then you've also got, you know, what we call the missing link down there on 284, where the brand new bridge is in the middle of nowhere. That's uh, all, to, that's, all three of those are great scout projects. <coughs> that project's made it through the committee, through the house, uh, with, with flying colors. Now, I'd hate to put that on the, the, yeah. uh, this and then screw it, mess that up. Right. So, it's 284. Uh, 284, the, the, the missing link. Well, uh, let's go to the Greenhead Grade. Let's, let's go on. I mean, do y'all agree with that? That's what we turned in last year. Then we just be following right back up on it. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah it's important. Right. It's, yeah. I'll make a motion, Mr. Chairman, that we uh, use it. You said it. Scott? Scott. 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 Yes, sir. For yeah. Greenhead. Green, Greenhead. Green, green, Scott. Greenhead. Green. I'll second that. Charles. Mr. 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 King's already beat you to the phone. Yeah, that's fine. I, I, got, I got a motion. Yeah, we're ready. Yeah, yeah I got, I got, I got, I got, I got a, a motion by Commissioner Joyner and a second by Commissioner Kent. Any discussion on uh, putting Greenhead Grade as our stop project for 2018? Yeah, can I have some uh, clarification on the limits that you would like to submit? Uh, I think we submitted, I think it was right around four miles the last time. Which was the, just the first segment? Do you guys want to submit the whole seven miles, so or do you want to break it up? You can get sold to it. That you you know you and Karen know more about what's appealing to DOT. Yeah. And, and what we ask you to do is make it the most appealing as possible. If we have to take that up in small bites, we're willing to do it. Yeah, I think you're going to have to. I think if we submit the cost estimate for the whole seven miles, they're not going to fund a project that size. Um, you know, this year they've got about. From what I understand, about nine million for scrap and about twenty million for scout, um, and so you'll be 
cutting into the 20 million pretty significantly if we try to do the whole seven miles. I think mm -hmm. I think you're going to have to do it in pieces. Okay, that, that's fine. Do it as big as y'all think we can. can get. What will that do? Cliff, as we submit that, wouldn't uh, along with the packet, wouldn't it be beneficial to have some letter of support from Water yes. Management District and DEP? Yes, in fact, we have a letter of support that we got from Water Management District uh, when we submitted it for. Um, did we submit oh, for the legislative stuff? Mm -hmm. I think that was one of them that we submitted. Uh, but I can try to get a updated letter of support from them, and then any uh, type of community organizations that we could get a letter of support from certainly doesn't hurt at all. Can we talk to them about it as late as last Friday? Yeah. No. So yeah. I mean, they're still very supportive of. Another thing that they asked for on the application is um, when the project was discussed at uh, public meetings, and so probably a good homework project to figure out all the commission meetings where um, Greenhead, for example, has been discussed. Uh, it's been quite a few, I know. But most most every one of them. Most every one of them. I okay. think I know a lady that's got most of them. Yeah. yeah. I got that information. I just, yes, yeah. Could you supply that to our community? Yeah. Ms. Benita, how far do you live down Greenhead Road? Um, about two and a half miles. Can we do two and a quarter miles? If you <laughs> 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 give a reason to come back. That's the old That's not. That, that, yeah, that's I, not I normally don't allow, allow that you, being that you part well, of the board by now. Well, I know it was uh, submitted last year and it was denied by DOT. Um, so yeah. one question is, is who, who do I need to go to in DOT? <laughs> well, well, you go to your senator, Mr. Gaines. Okay. He, he's he's okay. chairman of the uh, transportation committee. Okay. Yeah. 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 In the state of Florida. I'm on it. Uh, number two is uh, as we talked before, and I've talked with Karen about it in the past, and I think Cliff was kind of leading up to it on the reference to public meetings and, and uh, notations in the, the county meetings. Also, uh, if we need to get to work on the um, we call right away. It, the right of ways, um, I know on the south side of Greenhead Road, there's several large landowners there, and, and our homeowners association is, is two of those land masses um, but I've, I've talked to several of the large landowners in that area on the south side of the road that are willing to sign um, okay. the north side of the road is a lot of smaller lots so you're dealing with a lot more more families as right. far as uh, the negotiations there uh, and the water management district has committed to donating right away on the project already also right but need to talk to Philip Gaynor yeah with DMT got it Poor, poor Philip. Yep. <laughs> and I'll need a copy of her calendar so I can figure out the times that it was discussed at public meetings. Yeah. <laughs> okay. every, every public meeting that we pass this, yeah. I've been on the commission to discuss it. Right. Great. So, all right. So, all we've got now is scrap. And I think that board filled a couple of last time we discussed Brickyard Road. You know, we wanted to definitely have a conversation with Mr. Taylor and them, see if we could maybe work the project to coincide with, with some sort of a uh, Traffic deterrent and the schools, but you know, I don't find another project through the county. But the, 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 you better suited for that project. Mm -hmm. What are we going to submit for sink fee? Hutchins. Hutchins. Yeah, they're due. I think uh, March 12, something like that. So I got a little bit of time to get letters of support together um, okay. on any of these projects. But uh, what's the, what's the board's uh, pleasure on scrap? Mr. Chairman, I'm not going to make a motion. Rick Yardo. Brickyard on I have a motion for Brickyard Road for scrap from Mr. Kent. I have a second from Mr. Abbott. Any discussion? Sure, none. All in favor? Mr. Karen. Oh, I'm sorry. We also need the, end, the authorization of the resolutions for all those applications as well. Each application has to have a resolution of full support for it with it. With our approval, that should be, we shouldn't have to go back and take care of that. <coughs> with my, our approval? Okay. I'll sign them just a little bit. Okay. Uh, I have a motion. I have a second. Any discussion? Further discussion on Brickyard Road? Yeah, on well, Brickyard, we're talking about uh, what, Cliff? I'll do it the whole way. I'll do it from 277 all the way to 77. But are we looking at doing any improvements as far as <coughs> capacity, as far as turn lanes? Or? Milling and resurfacing would be what scrap would allow for. Um, 
Yeah, we probably could squeeze in a lane extension of some sort, but uh, you know, there's really no drainage improvements that need to be done. Mm -hmm. If there was a bunch of drainage improvements, it would have to be a Scott project. Right. Just a little kick out area. We're hoping that Mr. Tobin would, would be would entertain the idea of maybe making a turn uh, a turn in before you get to the high school. Where, where traffic would actually come off a brick car road and, and do a roundabout where you, you, you basically have a roundabout to get into the high school. So it's not the traffic that's so bad, it's just that time period when it's horrible during let in and take out of school. So if we could get that traffic to to come to a standstill on their property, then we alleviated the, the major part of the problem. You know? So I think that's going to be a project we're going to have to work internally with Mr. Taylor and, and, the, and the county commission and the school board to get that fixed. Like at, at the middle school and, and the suggestion that I wanted to make to them, they already do it at the high school. But in the parking, I mean, in the middle school, I mean, it's not kids that's driving, and they're not utilizing that. And there's not a really a roundabout there. But if they can, if we can make a roundabout in between that parking and, and get more of the cars off the highway, it'd be wonderful. Because they already do it at the high school. They have to go actually through the kids' parking places to come back around at the high school. It, it, it allows more, a lot more vehicles. And the backup's not at the high school, it is at the middle school. It's where y'all have the parents come to pick up all the kids. A lot of the high school kids are in the so. Yeah. But so it's just a progress when I work through the school board. I think we can uh, do some creative thinking and come up with some solutions. I've uh, helped with some other schools that had problems. But that kick out, Charles, is what we wanted to get that corrected. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I think once we finish this right here, then, then we'll set up a little thing. I think a good a meeting in the morning when school's coming in <laughs> right, right dead center would be, right would be good time. and then the same thing maybe one afternoon. Can we get a semi-trailer like that <laughs> in the lane and, <laughs> and I'll sit on chairs where we can launch? Just call a fake car back in and burn what the hell is that still? <laughs> but anyways, I have a motion. I have a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none. Uh, all in favor of motion? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. All right. All right. Uh, thank you. I got uh, one other item uh, to discuss is the uh, right of way on uh, the Rhythm property. Um, we talked about uh, there's a new landowner um, that wants to um, have a land use change to put it back into agriculture. Um, discussed uh, getting him to uh, donate right of way prior to getting the land use change done so that when Buckhorn Boulevard gets funded, we're good to go. I met with Southeastern Surveyors. Uh, they already had a survey for that entire project. Mm -hmm. They also had located the uh, edge of the dirt road all the way through that. It's about 1.1 miles through the property. They'd already located the uh, roadway all the way through it. Um, they sent me the survey. I drew in the new right-of-way, and I've already sent that back to them. Their proposal to um, do a legal description and a sketch for the proposed right-of-way and to also monument it in the field so that when we get ready, there's no confusion about where our right of way is. Their proposal was 3,800 bucks. Oh, and so, that's cheap to do yeah, and my cost for the alignment was zero. So uh, for 3,800 bucks, we can get everything done that we need to do. Awesome. So that's what uh, I would ask for approval for is their proposal for 3,800 bucks. So moved. Do you understand the motion, Mr. Richard? Do you need to clarify the motion? No, I've got it. You got it? For thirty eight hundred dollars you're looking for so There actually was some change to it, but I, I don't have it in front of me. It's thirty eight hundred and some sort of sense. So you're gonna pay for that? Yeah, I'll pay for that. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I have, I, I have a motion, I have a second. Is there any discussion on the survey of uh, Buckman Board? Oh, that's great. That's awesome. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. And that's all I got, Mr. Chairman, unless you guys got anything you want to talk about. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks so much, too.